Hi everybody, it's Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters. Today's video is going to be about making repairs. Can you and should you do it before you file a claim? What about during the claim? Before you get a settlement? What about during a lawsuit? Let's take a look whether what you should and shouldn't do. So in this scenario, before you file a claim, you should never, no, you shouldn't do any type of repairs. The insurance company is going to say that they're a prejudice in their investigation because you at least need to give them the opportunity to inspect the damages before you can do any repairs. Otherwise, they don't have to cover your claim. So what if you do the repairs, you file the claim, but you do them before the claim is settled? Well, there could be some issues with that. Could you do it? Yes, you could. Okay. There could be some issues. So if they ask for a reinspection and they find the damages have been fixed, you would be limited to the amount that you, you repaired and paid for those damages. For instance, let's say you had submitted a contractor's estimate for 28,000, but you're not happy with the time frame of, way, of where this claim's going and it's taken longer than you expected. expected. So you do the repairs for 12,000, the insurance company reinspects it and they say, okay, give us all the receipts, all the documentation to prove what it costs. So essentially you're gonna be limited to that $12,000. So that, that's, um, that's a big chunk compared to what your contractor says. If you like this video, please, click the thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos on insurance topics, homeowners insurance claims. Okay, so let's talk about doing repairs in the middle of a lawsuit. Can you? Yeah, you, you can. You definitely can. But one thing you should be aware of, your public adjuster or attorney, they're going to have an estimate of damages that validates your claim validates your damages let's just say their estimates 22,000 and you decide to have your contractor do it and he charges you 16 and you pay him so during your deposition they're going to ask if you had any repairs done and you have to say yeah so the 16,000 would be your maximum recovery now without getting too deep into this once the insurance company knows you paid a certain amount, like say for instance, this example, 16,000, they got you because they can try to drag it out or they can offer you 12,000 saying that they don't think some of the repairs are done and they kind of have you because are you going to go trial for $4,000 12 months down the road? Probably not. So it's a short video. So usually waiting for your settlement is your best bet. Make sure you speak with the attorney, public adjuster before doing any repairs. And here's probably the best tip if you want to do repairs. You want to make sure that they are temporary in nature. For instance, so you have drywall missing. Um, water leak coming from your roof, whatever it might be. Putting up new drywall is okay. doesn't mean that everything's been permanently been repaired. But for the aesthetic, it's not pleasant to see two by fours of wood and insulation within your house not being blocked off by a wall. So again, temporary repairs are highly suggested and I, I would recommend that but again the key word is temporary here's some other videos so if you guys aren't familiar with my channel I have a heck of a lot of videos on my YouTube channel here's just some example for instance I have a seven part series here how you handle homeowner insurance claims Everything, negotiations, um, communication, as you see here. When you realize a problem is going to happen. 
I got everything on roof claims, water claims. I talk about who are some of the better insurance companies. Pretty much anything you think of, you'll find a video on my channel for. And sometimes multiple videos on a subject because things change. So once again, my name's Mike Keeler. I'm a licensed public adjuster in the state of Florida. If you have a question, need help with a claim, if you're in Florida and would like me to help you in your claim, represent you, that's how you get a hold of me, my cell phone, my email, and my website. Again, quick video. Hope you enjoyed it.